Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing great. So let's continue with our discussion on contract costing. Now before we continue with our discussion, you people know what you have to do. Right? Hit the like button, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications and most importantly share with maximum people. Right? That is the most important thing because your likes, your comments, your subscriptions will matter that how many people are watching and actually enjoying these free lectures. Right? Otherwise, the option is there to stop the series very simple and convert it into a paid one. The ball is in your court now. Okay. So, in the contract costing, we are now going to discuss our last topic of this chapter that is escalation and de-escalation clause. We have discussed about the contract account. We have discussed about uh, the notional profit. We have discussed about the estimated profit. We have discussed about work in progress, right? So all the important aspects we have covered in detail, right? And uh, I hope you must have got all the conceptual clarity, whatever we have done. Now on to the last topic that is escalation and de-escalation clause. Escalation. De-escalation clause. Keep your handbooks with you. Page 11.9 right the last topic before the theory part the last topic where i have given the escalation and the de-escalation clause notes right now try to understand what is this escalation and de-escalation clause i have given you some hint uh, when we were discussing about the basics of contract costing obviously in i think it was lecture number one or two where i discussed about this escalation de-escalation clause right now we are going to discuss in detail say we have uh, discussed that in in a contract if we talk about a contract there are two parties to the contract right the one is contractor and the other one is contractee and whenever we talk about contract costing it is done from the viewpoint of a contractor any doubts right sir so now let's see that there is an uh, there is a contract entered into between contractor and the contractee for 5 lakh rupees right say on 1st of april 21 on 1st of april 2021 they have entered into a contract for 5 lakh rupees and this contract is for two years right it is for a particular construction and this construction will take approximately two years so what i mean to say is the contract will start on 1 4 21 right and it will continue for 31st 3 22 and then for 31st 3 23 right sir this is a two-year contract now on 1st of April 2021, the contractor has quoted 5 lakh rupees as the contract price. Right? This is the contract price that the contractor has quoted. On what basis he has quoted this price? On the basis we have discussed about the fixation of contract price, right? The topic that is raw material plus labor plus overheads, right? plus other expenses, office administration, all those expenses, office and administration expenses, plus profit. Right? This will be your contract price. Right? Any doubts in this thing? We have already discussed about the fixation of contract price topic. So he has quoted 5 lakh rupees on 1st of April 21. He started with the construction. Now listen to it very carefully. The actual story, the interesting story will start from here. On 1st of April 2021, right, there here it is 31st of uh, March 22 and 31st of March 23. Now on this particular date, there was a raw material, say cement. A cement bag was worth rupees 320 per kg. 
right this is the cost of a cement bag on 1st of april 2021 when the contract has started right we are standing on this particular date we bought a cement bag we started with a contract a cement bag was costing 320 per kg now can you tell me on 31st of march 22 or 31st of march 23 or in between somewhere say this date only will the price of the cement bag be the same will the price of the cement bag be the same sir how can we know right we cannot uh, accurately say that if we are standing on 1st of april 21 and we talk about 31st of march next year can we say that the cement bag will say uh, cost the same no sir on 31st of march the cost of the cement increased from 320 to 340 rupees per kg similarly on 31st of march 23 when they identified that the cement cost back costed 330 rupees per kg see the prices are changing every day in this dynamic times the prices of the raw material change every other day sir in fact sometimes it changes multiple times in a day you will go in the morning you will get some other price go in the evening you will get another price this is the reality right now the contractor thinks that sir i have decided this i have calculated this contract price of 5 lakh rupees on 14 2001 on the basis of this figure that is 320 kg right now if the Uh, price of this bag increases to 340 i will be at a loss obviously the contractor he has fixed his contract price of 5 lakh rupees based on the assumption that the cement bag will be 320 per kg right this is the raw material that he has considered but sir in future the price the cost of this raw material can vary it can increase or it can decrease in that case the contractor will be at a loss now contractor says why i should be at a loss he goes to the contractee he says sir sir i have fixed this 5 lakh rupees fine but i will keep a clause in this contract right what they will keep they will keep a clause in the contract they will keep a clause in the contract what is that clause the contractor says that if the price of the raw material increases in future during this contract during this contract if the price of this raw material increases i will accordingly increase the contract price right what the contractor is saying to the contractee that sir in future if the price of the raw material increases right then i will be at a loss what i will do is i will accordingly increase the contract price now contract is a shop businessman he says okay i'm i agree to it but now the contract he says i will also put in a clause now contractor is uh, you know little bit worried what clause he is going to add the contract he says i agree to your clause now you have to agree to my clause the contractor says okay sir tell me what is your clause he says that if the prices of the raw material decrease from the current prices i will reduce the contract price or you will have to reduce the contract price accordingly now the contractor is uh, you know little bit worried but he can't do anything except say the yes uh, saying except for saying yes to the contractee because if the contractor can increase the contract price on account of increase in raw material cost the contractee has the right to reduce the contract price then in case the raw material prices fall now they fall from uh, say here 310 kg right so the contract price should accordingly fall right this is the contractor will neither be at a loss nor be at a profit right contractee will neither be at a loss nor be at a profit loss will be there for the contractee if uh, the price is increased because he will have to uh, pay more right but for the contractor there will neither be a loss nor a profit right because he will be compensated accordingly or he will have to compensate accordingly right so for a contractor it is an okay situation sir 
in any of the cases now open your books page 11.9 read the paragraph that i have given a clause by the name of escalation de-escalation clause is entered into the agreement between contractor and contractee which provides that in case the cost of basic inputs that is direct material direct labor increase right basic inputs the important inputs direct material direct labor which can be directly identified if the prices of that those basic inputs increase then the contractee will compensate the contractor on account of increase in cost in accordance with the agreement that if there is an increase in the cost of the material the contractee will have to pay more the contract price will increase the contractee will have to pay more to the contractor further in case of the cost of basic input falls the contractor will compensate the contractee by charging less amount as agreed upon right this is what i told you clear sir the escalation claim due to the contractor from the contractee now sir how to uh, show this uh, escalation claim sir if it is a positive claim if it is a positive claim that means the contractor will receive more amount right then you have to show it how you have to show it in the contract account how you have to show it in the contract account sir positive claim will be shown here as it will be an additional income for the contractor right and the negative claims will be shown here negative claims where where the prices will fall positive claim is where the prices will increase and contractor has to get more income more uh, revenue from the contractee okay now just listen to a situation listen to a situation very carefully sir we started on 1421 right and this project will continue for 2 years right sir on 1421 the contractor says that uh, in the construction number of cement bags number of cement bags to be used is equal to 500 he says that in the total construction of the contract the number of cement bags that will be used is 500 on 31st of march 22 he identified that actual bags used okay will not uh, take it on this date sorry sorry will not take it on this date will take it on the last date on 31st of march 22 one second on 31st of march 22 the contractor identified that the actual bags used actual bags used is equal to 550 right so the cost say 100 rupees so the total cost here will be 50000 say here the price remains the same the total cost will be 55000 now what happened the price which was initially decided that was 50000 has increased to 55000 because more number of bags have been used now what happened the contractor goes to the contractee right the contractor goes to the contractee he says sir i need the escalation claim for it because the cost has uh, more cost has been incurred the contractee says sit down have a cup of tea coffee and uh, tell me how this cost increased he says sir the number of bags to be used were 500 but actual 550 were used now contractee what will contractee say the contractee says it is your mistake in the prediction right you should have predicted it accurately i will not pay a single penny extra for this escalation now tell me who is correct whether contractor is contra uh, is right or contract is right whether he can claim the escalation in this case or he cannot claim the escalation in this case read the paragraph given in the book again read the paragraph given in the book again what it says he says in case the cost of basic inputs increase what he say he says the cost of basic inputs increase read again the cost of basic inputs increase sir yes the cost is increasing from 50 to 50 uh, 55000 
find out the reason behind the increase in cost whether this increase whether this increase what you have to identify whether this increase in cost is due to the price change or it is due to the quantity change see this price change is out of control of contractor and contractee it is determined by the demand and supply forces of the market right but quantity change it is under the control of contractor he should have been more careful in using the cement bags right so the contract is absolutely correct here that i will not pay a single penny extra that means the escalation or de-escalation clause will apply only and only in case of change in prices and not quantity write this down write this down that escalation escalation or de-escalation clause escalation or de-escalation clause will be applicable will be applicable only in case of only in case of change in prices change in prices and not applicable and not applicable in case of change in quantity right so this is very important for you people to note very 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 important point right uh, everybody all those who are having the books also they will also have to write this line that sir the escalation and the de-escalation clause is applicable only in case of change in the prices you have to see if there is a change in the price right only then you will play pay the escalation otherwise there is no claim for escalation if there is a change in the quantity and not in the prices right so in this case there will be no escalation will there be any escalation in this case escalation claim can there be an escalation claim in this case no sir there cannot be an escalation claim in this case right because the increase in cost is on account of increase in quantity the price here is 100 the price here is 100 so there is no change in the price there is change in the quantity only so on the basis of only quantity you, you cannot claim the escalation prices is that clear any doubts in this so this is all about the escalation part you can read it from the book right that is why i told you the books are very important from all the lectures now on right a lot of things are there in the book which i will just read out from the book only right i'll not show i'll read out from the book only clear what is an escalation claim de-escalation claim in which case we have to claim it in which case uh, we cannot claim it so all these things right so let's move on to the practical part now question number six let's read question number six a contractor has entered into a long-term contract at an agreed price of one lakh seventy five thousand subject to an escalation clause for material and wages as spelled out in the contract and corresponding actuals are as follows right so there is an escalation clause for material and wages right so standards are given for three materials a b and c quantity 5000 3500 and 2500 rate 5 8 and 6 right this is what these are the standards what we planned for the actual data the quantity 5050 3450 260 4.8 7.9 and 6.6 .6. similarly the standards and actuals are given for the labor x y and z right the standard hours that is the estimated hours were 2000 2500 and 3000 rate is uh, this is what we estimated with we, what we planned for to pay and the actual hours are given and the actual rate is given to you right 
Reckoning the full actual consumption of material and wages, the company has claimed a final price of 1,77,360. Now, who is claiming this price? The contractor is claiming this price. He says that, sir, because there is an uh, increase in the cost of material and labor, please pay us 1,77,360. Uh, uh, the actual contract price was 1,75,000. So, they are asking for an escalation claim of 2360 give your analysis on the admissible escalation claim and indicate the final price payable now in this question what you have to remember is that escalation claim is paid only and only for the change in the price and not for the change in the quantity right here both the things are happening the quantity is also changing the price is also changing right so how you have to solve it just see to it let's see question number six so first we are going to talk about material right here we have three kinds of material i'll write material then i will write standard quantity then i have standard rate right actual quantity actual rate right and then claim now material a material a b and c what is the standard quantity 5000 then 3500 and 2500 right what is the standard rate 5 8 and 6 rupees what is the actual quantity 5050 five, then it is 3450 then it is 2600 what is the actual rate 4.80 7.90 and 6.60 right this is the data that is given i have just written the data that is already given okay I hope there is no doubt in this now just tell me you will uh, give the escalation claim you have to give the escalation claim for what sir you have to uh, give the claim for price change in the prices or change in the quantity sir we have to give the claim only and only for change in the prices that means what you have to see is you have to completely ignore this column what you have to see is the change in the standard rate and the actual rate right the quantity that we have to consider is only and only standard quantity there is no absolutely no role of actual quantity right because we are not going to pay anything for change in the quantity now in this case we expected the rate to be 5 rupees but the actual rate was 4.80 right what is the difference 0 0.20 what is the quantity standard quantity 5000 so my claim it will come down the prices have reduced so it will be a negative claim of how much it will be a negative claim of 1000 rupees how 0 0.20 multiplied by 5000 any doubts it will be a negative claim in case of b the standard rate was 8 and the actual rate was 7.90 right so there is a difference of 0 0.1 and how much quantity sir 3500 so again it will be a negative claim of how much 350 rupees right a negative claim now in case of c the standard rate was 6 and the actual rate was 6.60 the price is increased here right so you there will be a positive claim there will be a positive claim of how much the positive claim will be 1500 rupees can you tell me the net claim here in case of material what will be the net claim sir in case of material what will be the net claim the net claim will be 150 rupees positive any doubts any doubts in this thing sir anybody having any kind of doubt
clear so this is about material now let's talk about the labor part let's talk about the labor part now right so again we are going to write labor then standard hours then standard rate actual hours actual rate and we have the claim then right and we have x y and z what are the standard hours given to you 2000 then 2500 and 3000 standard rate is 7 rupees then 7.5 and then 6.5 actual hours 2100 then 2450 then 3100 right i am picking up this data from here only right all the data from here only so actual rate 7.2 7.50 7.5 and 6.60 i hope it is correct yes now tell me about the claim sir which column you have to ignore whether you will pay the claim uh, for the change in the hours or for the change in the rate my simple question is you will pay the escalation claim for change in the hours or for change in the rate sir we have already studied that the claim will only be for the change in the prices or the change in the rate and not for the change in the hours right no claim will be given for change in the hours am i correct so that means there is no role for this actual hours column you have to absolutely ignore it what you have to consider is standard rate and actual rate and the only thing to be considered is standard hours now correct sir now the original rate was 7 rupees but it increased to 7.20 the actual rate was increased 7.20 so there is a claim of 20 pesa a positive claim of 20 pesa multiplied by 2000 right so there is a positive claim of 400 rupees in the second case sir the expected price was 7.50 and the actual rate was 7.50 so there is no claim absolutely no claim no change right in the third case the expected price was 6.50 and the actual price was 6.60 that means a claim of 10 pesa positive claim of 10 pesa right 3000 that means 300 rupees so can you tell me what is the net claim in case of labor 700 rupees positive what is uh, in case of material there was a net claim okay i'll write it here as net claim right net claim on material 150 rupees net claim on labor seven hundred rupees what is my total claim now can you tell me the amount of total claim total claim is 150 rupees on material plus seven hundred rupees on what labor so the total claim is eight hundred and fifty rupees only and only eight hundred and fifty rupees now what they are claiming for now what is the total price that should be paid to the contractor let's see total price total price payable to contractor total price payable to contractor sir 175000 was the agreed upon contract price plus 850 rupees is the positive claim on account of change in the prices of material and labor right this is what we have calculated 150 for material and 700 for labor there was a change in the price increase in the price so the price that they can claim is rupees 175850 right and the contractor on the contrary what he is claiming he is claiming 177360 so the claim of the contractor is not correct right so what you have to write is claim of contractor claim of contractor of rupees 
वन लैख सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी इज नॉट करेक्ट राइट सो द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इज नॉट करेक्ट इन क्लेमिंग दिस मच अमाउंट वन सेवेंटी सेवन थ्री सिक्सटी नो सर द एक्चुअल क्लेम इज वन ओनली एट फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड द टोटल प्राइस दैट इज पेबल इज वन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रुपीज क्लियर so this is an important question from examination point of view also right this is a question from your icci study mat i don't know about the figures i don't remember as such but a similar question is there i i think the figures are also same correct i hope this is clear so question number 6 is done now what is left is question number 7 and with that we'll end the chapter question number 7 is very very interesting very very important right so what this is what you uh, will be discussing in the next lecture right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy keep sharing thank you so much